are you or anyone you know is under the AKPK program? Does that mean your future is gone? There is no hope for you to come back to gain financial freedom or even financial independence. No, it's not like that. And today, I am going to read you this question from I got from a viewer. I hope that it show you a little bit of what you can do. What's up everyone, this is Kenny here from Probably Stories, a channel where we discuss everything about real estate to help you make an informed decision. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, do hit the subscribe button for more contents like this and also smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. This doesn't take you more than 5 seconds, smash to turn the like button blue and it will reach more people hopefully that needs to find this video. My new book, Tono Luluskan, is now out on Shopee. I'll give you the link below. You can go to Shopee and get it, the books on financing. And there's many links below, Shopee links. If you buy something, you are supporting this channel. It doesn't cost you a single cent, okay? So on to this video today. I, I just got this uh, question uh, that I feel that I should read to you. It is regard to the AKPK and how this audience member actually handled it. I'm not going to mention names, but I'm just going to read the, the WhatsApp I got. So actually, that is why I asked, please do send me questions if I have time and I will pick it up and actually answer so that more people will be able to, in the same situation, will be able to benefit. Okay? So the question is just uh, sounds like this. This is like a statement, a lot of statement. And there's a lot of lessons here that she actually, yeah, the audience here is she. She actually uh, can teach us, including myself. Uh, there's this, uh, so I just read her WhatsApp. I just watched, found your YouTube channel. I'm not sure if my question is okay or related to be asked. I'm currently under AKPK since 2016. Before joining AKPK, I don't have any issue to commit to my monthly loan payment. Until there is the biggest loan, about 50000 which is a wrong decision actually just to help a friend of mine. Okay, lesson one. Then, before I can't commit my monthly payment, I went to AKPK. Number two, AKPK then rescheduled all my loan under the program. I have six, including PTPTN. First, I withdraw my KWSP, about 20,000 and settle the PTPTN. Then, bit by bit, settle for another three loan. And I now left only two biggest loan, two loans, including the biggest one. These two loans are with the same bank. Okay, uh, the sentence again, uh, let me share with you what she did right. You see, and the things that you can actually take a lesson from here. First thing first, I, you take a loan, take a personal loan for your friends and family. I highly do not encourage this. Okay, especially for a friend. Do not ever borrow your name to your friends or to family to borrow to take a loan under your name or personal loan to do buy a house or buy a thing or buy a car, whatever it is. Because if you can't pay back, right? If you can't pay with a personal loan, if your friend can't pay you back, you are the one that's gonna suffer. Yes. I understand. It's not easy when it comes to friend. Friend will be like very friend or family will be in a very tight situation and asking your help, begging you for help. Can you just borrow me some money? And then uh, I'll pay you back later when I get some money. I'll be having a job, I'll pay you back. <sighs> you know, I have this principle when it comes to lending to friends or family. The moment you lend, right, you have to make sure uh, that this money uh, is the money that you don't mind getting back not getting back. Huh? You don't mind that you can collect because the moment you lend to these friends and family, the money is considered gone. As good as gone. Okay? I know, I understand. It's not easy watching, especially family members, huh? asking you for money. But remember, this is your future here. I'm sure a lot of people out there is actually thinking of help taking a personal loan to help their friends to buy a car or, or become guarantor and uh, become guarantor for their vehicles or even family members, please do not do that. 
please do not do that. It's your own future that you are putting in on the line. Okay? And I'm sure this audience member has already learned, learned it the hard way, which is not too late. But I like what she did. You see this part here. Then before I can't commit my money payment, I went to AKPK. You see, a lot of people when you hear AKPK, they're like hearing ghosts, you know. Oh, AKPK. Oh my God, you under AKPK, you cannot get loan now. Your future all gone now. No, it's not like that. AKPK is set up by Bank Nagara to help people, to help the masses to, to manage their finances better. They can be the intermediary between you and the bank. They can negotiate with the bank, the interest and the repayment for you. Okay? Because sometimes when you, you alone as an individual, you have to deal with, especially in this kind of case where you have so many loans and you deal with so many banks, the banks may not entertain you. What you can do is go to AKPK and ask them to negotiate with all these banks on your behalf. Okay? And this lady also did a very good thing. She knows that she can't take it really, so she go to AKPK for help. That is something that I highly recommend people. Your house is going to go, you know you can't pay your house. Uh. Few months can't pay, bank is chasing you already. Please, one, two months or what, cannot pay, or before you know that the fund is going to run out, please, please go and seek for help. If no, nowhere else you can turn to to borrow you to just go get by for that one, two months, please go and find AKPK. Let them negotiate for you, for you with the banks. At least you don't lose your house, okay? They are not going to, they are not going to penalize you, put your name on secrets, tell the bank to reject your loan. They, they, they do not do that. They are purely an NGO here to help, okay? This lady really did a very good, very good uh, move here. Okay, so and uh, yeah, they re they will usually reschedule your loans. We negotiate the bank to reschedule your loans uh, so that you have a reasonable monthly payment. Okay, this one is the uh, first part. Then next part we go to the next part. Okay, I read it. I did call the bank on how to withdraw the name from AKPK and to start paying them back. So today I apply with AKPK to I apply the AKPK account to withdraw with formal letter from AKPK to the bank. So this audience suddenly I have question come to mind. If I withdraw from AKPK and start to pay bank back, how about my secrets report? Is there still has remark under AKPK restructuring? I'm sorry for this long story. Uh, I'm, thank you so much for sending your question. The question here is, withdraw for AKPK, start paying back bank, how about secrets? There are two actually. Next one is, is there a remark under AKPK restructuring? Okay, why this audience actually asks, huh? did you know that if you are under AKPK program, your secrets will be tagged? Your secrets will be tagged, if I'm mistaken, the code is K underneath. When, it, when any bank see the K, it will automatically trigger them to reject your case, your loan application, whatever it is. Huh? Whatever loan you apply, they will automatically trigger this to reject. Because to them, it's an adverse finding. Okay? Adverse finding means negative finding. Huh? Like secrets more than three months, more than three in the number, more than three. These are adverse findings. And they will put that uh, bawa pengurusan AKPK or something like that in the secrets. And this is uh, only you can see if you print it from Bank Nagara's uh, secrets. So how do you remove that tag uh, under APK, AKPK program from your secrets? This is how. AKPK, when they negotiate for a rescheduling of your loan, they would have to come up with the terms with the, with the bank. An example, you pay 1,000 ringgit for this facility for, to, for this A to AKPK a month for one year. And then AKPK will tell the bank that you have graduated from the program. Okay? Why you need to go back to AKPK? Because AKPK is the one that represents you to talk to the bank. AKPK has no power to remove 
that status from Sikis for you. AKPK can just tell the bank, okay, this uh, client has already fulfilled the obligation. So now we want you, the bank, to remove that state AKPK status from the Sikis. So the bank has to do it for to do it on your behalf. That is why when you go to AKPK, if you have many loans with different banks, so the terms will be different from individual to individual. I'm just giving you a very simple and straightforward example of what might happen. Okay? So this is what you can do with the AKPK. Just talk to them and see and ask them back. How long or how long do I need to pay this until I can actually apply for a loan again? Ask them back. Okay? Then they will actually give you the terms. Ah, because they are the one representing you. I hope this... Uh, all this, question, this is really a very good question, I like this. I keep them coming. Uh. I hope this session has been beneficial to all of you. Until then, this is Kenny here from Property Stories. If you still have any more questions, you know where to reach me. Okay, bye-bye.